Influenza is a killer. Every year, about two and a half thousand Australians die from influenza. That's more than twice the annual toll from motor vehicle and road traffic accidents. You wouldn't walk down the road with your eyes blinded. If you cross the road, you look left, right, and again. If you get into a car, you click, clack, and buckle up. Over the past century, there have been four influenza pandemics, the most recent one only six or seven years ago. The first of the 20th century killed more than 50 million people. The last one killed about 500,000 people worldwide. But every year influenza comes back. It's an annual epidemic. And every year we need to vaccinate to prevent this life-threatening disease. We're here in the Blue Mountains, Australia, to meet Andrew and his two lovely young daughters, and to hear about his partner, Chrissy, who developed severe influenza during her pregnancy with Mia Rose, her youngest daughter. Sadly, she died of influenza from a severe pneumonia, even though she was in intensive care for weeks and weeks. And she delivered a beautiful baby, Mia Rose, who herself needed intensive care for weeks and weeks and thankfully survived. She's a beautiful girl now, but she needs annual flu immunization because she's got chronic lung disease from being born premature. Everyone in the family gets influenza immunization every year, not only to protect Mia Rose from transmission, but each other uh, from influenza. Chrissy was a fun-loving, ordinary Australian woman who would do anything to protect herself and her family from something serious or life-threatening. Chrissy was like no other. She was very witty, very smart, very funny, able to have a laugh at herself and others. One of a million that you could ever find. And too late in life for myself, but I had some lovely days with her. First time she went to hospital, she was diagnosed with a the flu. Then the doctor then come back and did another check and found pneumonia on her lungs and admitted her there and then that she had to have a tracheotomy done so it could bypass her mouth. Chrissy was in hospital for three weeks before she got very, very sick. And some days out for two hours, some days down for eight hours in a sedated coma. Chrissy had Mia Rose in three months and three days premi. Um, and 19 days later, mum was classified. She won't make it off the machine. She was, Chrissy was conscious when she was born. Straight after the baby was born, Chrissy and I spoke. She wrote a name on a sketch page for the name of the baby. And hugged her. And I stayed with her for another hour and a half and then went around and saw a baby girl and then come back and seen her and she was in a sedated coma. Mia Rose was born on oxygen from day one. Mia Rose was on a breathing machine for a month, if not longer. When Mia Rose was six months old, she had a really bad chest infection, which they put her down to bronchiolitis. And she was breathing that rapidly that she needed more oxygen than she was on before to help. But that didn't work. And she flatlined in, in a hospital and had to be transferred to another hospital and be looked at by specialists. She was too sick to even get the flu jab, actually. 
influenza immunization in Australia is recommended for all who want to be protected against influenza. And why shouldn't we maximize, dramatically increase the influenza immunization uptake rate? At the moment, less than 50% of the chronically ill have a vaccine. If we were to vaccinate them, the elderly, pregnant women, and those in contact who are likely to transmit and are recommended immunization, we could radically reduce the death toll from influenza, just as we've done with the death toll from road traffic accidents. Don't delay, get immunised against influenza. Click, crack, buckle up.